the battle colors have been around as long as there have been formations in warfare. Different states used theirs to distinguish which militia they were a part of during the American Revolution. During the Civil War, soldiers wanted to have a band to accompany them on the battlefield. The band also requested for a person to carry the colors, also known as the American flag. Also during the Civil War, flags were often used to separate the different battalions so the officer in charge knows the area of his charge. They also were used to give movement commands so it can be seen from one end of the formation to the other. Although the Marine Corps has been around for centuries, the color sergeant of the Marine Corps' position wasn't officially established until 1965. The first color sergeant of the Marine Corps was Gunnery Sergeant Shelton L. Eakin, who later commissioned as a second lieutenant and was killed in action in Vietnam in 1966. Since then, there have been 37 Marines to serve as the face of the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps order is very specific in what it means to be a color sergeant of the Marine Corps. The color sergeant of the Marine Corps is the Commandant's representative for all ceremonial commitments requiring the Marine Corps' battle color. The color sergeant travels through the continental United States and overseas with the battle color detachment, which also includes the Commandant's own U.S. Marine Drum and Bugle Corps and the Silent Drill Platoon. Additionally, the color sergeant serves as the Marine representative for all joint service and White House functions when the presidential color is required. The color sergeant of the Marine Corps is one of the most visible Marines in our Corps. By virtue of this billet, the color sergeant is a senior sergeant in the Marine Corps, and as such, serves as an example in appearance, performance, and leadership for all non-commissioned officers to emulate.